Keenum first. Hey, I'm Keenum, and in this episode, we're gonna talk about Roman numerals. I'm Keenum. And I've already done the introduction at this point in the video. If we have one bear over here, we would use the Roman numeral I for one. Here comes two. I. Here comes two bears. Okay, what about two bears? If we have two bears, beep, 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 boop, we use I, I for two bears. What about three bears? We need a third bear. Hmm. Boop, 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 boop. Now, if we have three bears, we will use I, I, I with three bears. Okay, now this is where it gets interesting. Four bears becomes I, V. I, V. It's one before five, which is the big one. In Roman numerals, we use V for five. Five is V. Ooh. What about six bears? What happens with six? It becomes VI. VI with six bears. How about seven bears? VII. -I. If you have seven bears, it's VII. -I. Hey, we can't slow down now. Let's do eight bears. VII. -I -I. Oh my word, that is a lot of eyes. Let's do ten. Before we get to 10, we have to do nine bears. Ooh. That's one before 10, so it'll be IX. One before 10 will be IX. So when we get that 10th bear in there, hey, move over, bears. Then we have X for 10 bears. 10 bears becomes X. I am the bullet train, I'm the fastest and the best. means 10 when it comes to Roman numerals. What about when you have 11? Well, that becomes X1 or XI. Excuse me, XI. 12 becomes XII. Hey, what's going on here? Get out of here, bears. XII, when we have 12. XII, that's 12. Now let's do 13. XIII -I -I is 13. And then XIV is 14. XIV is 14 because it's 1 before 15, which would just be XV. XV is 15. Sixteen, that would be X V I seventeen. That's gonna be X V I I and then eighteen is X V I I I I I I What about nineteen? X I X What? Yes, Roman numerals seem a little confusing, but with enough repetition and practice, we'll get the hang of it. It's one before 20. And so, I'm going from, hey, what's going on here? And going from 19 to 20, we have the one more. Hey, what's going on, MKT? So this is gonna be XX. 10 and 10 make 20, hey! What about 21? 21 is gonna be X, 21 is going to be XXI. That's 21. What about 22? XXII. 22. What about 23? 23 is going to be XXIII. And then we'll do two more before we start counting by fives. 24 is going to be XXIV. One before five. 
which makes it XXV when we get 25. XXV is 25. Woohoo! Oh snap, here comes that MKT train. Oh boy. I means one. V means five. X means ten. And we start over again. I means one. L means fifty. C is a hundred. M is a thousand. I means one. Start over again. Roman numerals. That's three, and over here we have two. I, I. Hmm. It sure would be most coincidental if the greater gator were to show up. Spoil the fun we're having here. I, 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 and I, I. So this is three, and this is two, according to Roman numerals. Which one's greater? Oh, the greater gator! He's eating the three bears. There they go. Now we're just left with the two bears. I, I. If you haven't already, you need to smash the big red subscribe button. You don't miss out when we do math videos. We won't always talk about Roman numerals like I or B or 10, but we'll find other math concepts that your youngster will find not only entertaining, but educational. And if you need more, that's your ticket right there in the corner. See you next time. God bless. about 30. We won't do every single digit, but we will get up to 50. 30 would be XXX. That's 30. What about 35? Oh, that'll be XXXV. 35 is XXXV. Gotta make sure I say it enough times. Now, 40 is 10 before 50. So this one is interesting. This one's going to be XL. 10 before 50, because 50 is going to be L, as you shall see momentarily. 40 is XL, which means 45 becomes XL and then B. So it's 40 and 5, XLV 45, and we cap all of this fun stuff off with L. In Roman numerals, L represents 50. I am the bullet and I'm the fastest and the best!
very briefly the numbers 60 and 70, 80, 90, and 100. 60 is going to be LX as a Roman numeral. It's 50 and 10. That makes 60. So 70 will be LXX. That will be 70. 20 after 50 is 70, or 50 plus 20 is 70. LXX. Now, as confusing as they can be, we go the extra step to get 80 LXXX. 80 is LXXX. Whew, gotta make sure you say it enough times. What about 90? 90 is 10 before 100, and 100, as we shall see momentarily, is C. C for century. 90 XC. 90 is X. C, 10 before 100, which leaves us with our final Roman numeral today, C. That's 100 as a Roman numeral, C. What are Roman numerals used for? What are Roman numerals used for even today? Well, sometimes if you open up a book, you will see lowercase Roman numerals for the beginning pages. I for one, I, I for two, I, I, I for three, and so on and so forth. Also, the super They like to use Roman numerals for the super Except super 50, they drop the Roman numeral. Sometimes wrestling events, the Olympics. They all use Roman numerals and even some old fashioned analog clocks will use Roman numerals for one through 12. So we still use them in our world today and it is a useful tool in our toolkit to understand the world around us. Roman numerals!